Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, another quick learning bite integrated discussion of pediatrics and ENT and uh, so we are going to discuss a very important case here. So the question goes something like this. There is a newborn who was brought to pediatric emergency with complaints of cyanosis. The cyanosis appears when the child is calm but disappears when the child is crying. What is the likely diagnosis? So sir, what do you think is the likely diagnosis among the options? The blue baby turning pink and crying is a classical clue for coanal atresia. Sir, coanal atresia, can you uh, elaborate a bit and whether it is unilateral or bilateral, sir? Coana means the pursue opening of the nasal cavity and coanal atresia is due to the persistence of buccal membrane. This is a case of bilateral complete coanal atresia because neonates are obligated nasal breathers. That's why this child is landing up with cyanosis after birth. But magically, when the child opens the mouth to cry, the child gets better. So that's why the answer to this question is, diagnosis is bilateral complete coronary atresia. Great, sir. In fact, sir, I have seen a similar case in my residency days also. There was a newborn who was brought and uh, he was he had this cyclical cyanosis. It is also called a cyclical cyanosis. Cyanosis worsening when the child becomes calm. Contrary to what we normally uh, anticipate. And uh, sir, we did a screening test where we tried to pass a feeding catheter and a mesogastric tube. The tube failed to pass through the bilaterally and so we suspected the case. But sir, how are we going to make the diagnosis and how do we manage these children? The management is the airway is the significant consideration over here. So the first and foremost is that whosoever present over there, the pediatrician or ENT or anyone, they should put a wide bore nipple in child's mouth to save the baby. And that's called McGowan's technique, a very famous question, sir. And then in the meantime, we can intubate and then we do the tracheostomy, which you have to maintain for a year. Let the child grow up. Then we plan for the re surgery at the age of one year or above. And the surgery can be done endoscopic or the transparental route. So, this is a hole in front of you right now which you create surgically. A very famous question again, which drug we apply topically on the margins of this hole we create surgically to keep it patent? And the answer is mitomycin C which has got anti-fibroblastic properties. Uh, my dear sir, can you help students revise very famous topic charge syndrome yes. into this topic? Definitely sir, charge syndrome is a very high yielding topic. It is a neat PG and past INICT question and many coenal literature patients are a part of the charge syndrome. So what is charge syndrome? C stands for coloboma of the eye, H stands for heart defects, A stands for atresia of the coenae, R stands for retardation of growth, G stands for genital abnormalities, some books write as genital urinary abnormalities and E stands for ear defects. So this is the charge syndrome. Thank you very much sir. Keep learning and for more such content, please download our app and see such more interesting information in the form of videos over there.